Hello everybody, this is Lewis with another video on the Trains channel. And today I will be doing the platforms. Yeah. And I'm not going to buy some... Well, I'm, I did have some Hornby platforms. The only problem is I've modified the track a lot and these won't fit in at all. Because I've got some awkward curves. So, yeah. So I'm not using those. I'm going to create some custom platforms. So, uh, for the main platform walls, well, really I'm just going to do kind of the same thing that I did with the loco siding platform. So, I'm going to use foam core sides and I'm going to use balsa wood for the top. And that's 2mm thick and I actually figured out using a ruler that a good height will be 2.5 centimeters. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get 2.3 um, mil high foam core walls to put along, and then get the um, the um, balsa wood to put on top. And I guess I've spent a long time making it. So if you, you probably have to, yeah, you can see all that the lead pencil lines are so that any part of the low code won't hit the um, the platforms. So you got this bit here which goes around for the corner here. And you got these bits around here. So it's got all of that so that nothing will hit the um the or another carriages or anything will hit the platform. And any everything that's grey will be will be platform. So you will clip a bit of the road there, or it'll be diagonal. I have some stairs. That's where the station building is going to be. I'm going to have a um, walkway, a uh, walk that goes over the part between the platforms here, and they can just walk around that side if they wanted to. So, uh, yep, I will see you in a little bit, and we will get to work cutting the frame core sides. Okay, so I am back, and I have my materials and things here and so first off we're going to measure and I've got ruler and I've marked out 2.3 so right, so Cool, so I will do the rest of the measurements and cut these into strips, and I'll see you when we're done. So, I am back, and I've cut these, I've got these, um, walls. I've got a little bit left over, I'll throw it over there. Cool. So now, uh, we will go and, well, we'll take one of these and we'll mark out where the corners are for the platforms. Okay, so I've just gone and marked out where some of the cuts will need to be made, and this is along the bottom part of the platform. We have the track here, and the platform comes up and then goes like that. So, all we have to do is we have to make the... So, we could burn this, but it won't be very... won't look very well, very good. So, what we're going to do, it's going to be like this, we're going to just cut along here, try not to go all the way through, and then you just bend it like that, clean up the excess, like that. and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut two right angles. If we cut one, that puts it at 45 degrees. If we cut a second one, about here, there we go. Don't mind the music if you can hear it, it's just my sister. There you go. There's now a right angle. That'll be about there. -ish. So, for this wall, we cut on the same side. Like there. And then we bend it this way. And no cuts needed because it's already on an axis. So, there we go. That is one section completed. Now, um, for the rest of the bits, um, for the wall that's going to go here, 
we have to make it joinable. So we cut a 45 degrees here. And now if we cut another 45 degrees, the yellow wall, we can join them together easily. Cool. So I'll go use the next bit and I'll measure up the next section. Okay, so I've measured up another bit and this will go... Uh, let's figure this out. This will go about here-ish. Let's see that this is where the diagonal road is. Okay, so because these ones are only on a 45 degree angle rather than a 90, we can do this and then, you probably can't see that, do a 45, there you go, and then I'll go right across the road. And then we do another one. There we go. Cool. So that will go right where the road is. And, oh, that reminds me. We have to join this onto the rest of it. So, do a 45 cut. And then, clear all this out. Where we've got this, this will join right on. So there you go. Okay, so we're back on the layout and we've got our bits of platform and uh, yeah, for the corner bit over here I've actually bent the foam core a bit like that it doesn't, doesn't crease it just doesn't you know, yeah it just um bends nicely into shape and it'll go around up there so first thing first is we have to do down here now you can't see that let's move this back there we go we got our hook glue gun with hook glue stick and here they are, there's the rest of them. Just throw them over there. Okay, so um for these 45 degree ones, you don't really just want to stick them down. You kinda wanna reinforce them, so what I do is I um get out of the way. So I just put some glue down in here. And then you fold it up and then you align it. This make it a lot easier when you're doing things. Ow! Oh, I just put, some, put my finger in some of the hot glue. And then you align it. So it's. That was actually stuck down and pulled out some of the paint so quickly. But, um. Yeah, once, once it starts to cool off, you use your finger or, or a bit of wood inside and spread it around, make it a lot more neater. And with these bits, you can't really help it. There isn't really any way of doing that. So what we'll do now is we'll glue this to the corner, and then skip all of this, and then just do the end bit. Something like that. Cool. And then we'll plop that down. There we go. So there we go. So that's in place, and. Once it's down, have a go, grab your loco, make sure you got clearance. Boom. Yeah, the coupling's hitting it down there, so. And then, I'm actually going to get rid of the, um, the back bits here and just... Actually, I'll do that now because I'll be getting different one. I'll be getting new ones. Yeah. So just snip the back off here. There we go. And just shoots off. And then we can pop this buffer in. Ooh. There we go. So now we have a buffer works well. So if you wanted you could um, poke holes in the back here and then put the, the legs through there and then glue them in but I'm not really bothered. <laughs> well I might I might do that. Just depends what I'm doing I guess. 
So that'll look nice. I could fit a single coach in that siding or a single loco. But or a little goods train. I'm not sure what I'm really gonna put in there. So now that that's done, we can do the next bit. In this bit we don't have to do anything with the trains. So we're just gonna make sure that it fits in. Yeah, as I said before when I was doing it, I was um cutting the bits. It's got a, it's on the right angle next to the road. So yeah. So with these bits as usual. Yeah. Pop in some glue and then you align it. Okay. That up now. Cool. So now we got a corner with a 45 degree angle in it. There we go. Okay. So now, um, actually, I might just fill it in there. You can do this if you like. The other thing you do is you um glue inside and line the corners. It's really up to you depending on how much you're gonna bash it up. So if you got if the, if you're building a little layout for for your kid or something, um, you could do that, make it a lot more structural. But I'm a model enthusiast, like I would call myself. And I'm doing this for me and not for kids. So they don't really need to be too structural. Okay, so I need another glue stick. Pop it in there. One thing when you're doing these is you gotta make try to make it with the sharpest corners if you're putting brick paper like I am. And you gotta make sure that none, none of the glue leaks out. Like a bit did over here. So uh, so uh, just gonna put some glue on the corner here. So, we've done this much, and this is a bit a bit higher, see there's a really nice sharp corner there. So, we've done this much so far, um, and my ba my camera is almost out of battery, so I think this will conclude it for part one. See you in the next one!